Hey guys, welcome back to Diesel Blaze Talk. Thank you all so much for tuning in to me. And today we are going to put the DOD up against the Rock Elemental. No guys, we're not going to do a 1v1 and compare them, but we're just going to compare which one of these two bad boys down here I like Stone better. This was actually one of the ideas given to me by one of the subscribers, so I'm going to go ahead and do the test. And as usual, before doing the intro, I've already done some of the tests and I was actually pretty surprised, guys, with some of the results. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to put a level 1 up against a level 1 and then after that we're going to get uh, two of the bad boys with the same uh, melee damage and see which one of this collect more stone. And finally, I'm going to put up a small clip towards the end to show you guys how to actually collect stone more efficiently, especially if you are working with the buddy. So, who's going to win? The Hulk or the Pokeball? Stay tuned to find out, guys. The mechanics of the DoD changed in the latest ARC update. The DoD reduces the stone weight by 75% when it is in its inventory, which means to say if both the DoD and the Elemental has the same weight, the DoD will be able to carry 3 times more stones. So now comes the interesting part. For inland stone gathering, the DoD collected about 32 to 37 stones on average per hit for a level 1 DoD. However, when you move the DoD along the coastal sides, the gathering rate increased to about 2 times more and the DoD tend to gather on average 59 to 78 stones per hit. So if you want to collect stones of DoD, definitely bring it to the coast. As for a level 1 rock elemental, it was the total opposite. For inland stone collection, on average, it got about 52 to 70 stones per hit. And take note guys, the primary attack collects more stone as compared to the tertiary attack, just the swing attack. And as for stone collection along the coast, it dipped a third down by collecting only between 18 to 54 stones per hit. I guess it's because it belongs in Scorch Earth. What if you have the same amount of melee damage on the DoD and the Rock Elemental? How will they fare then? The closest I could get for the DoD and the Rock Elemental is 269.3 for the DoD and 269.5 for the Rock Elemental's melee damage. So let's see how did the test go. And the results were surprising once again. When you increase the melee damage of the DoD above 200%, it will collect more stone inland, but the same amount of stone collection will be gotten from when collected along the coastal areas. So after a few tests, on average you will get about 76 to 80 stones per hit when farmed inland. However, the stones that is gathered along the coast remain unchanged and remain at 59 to 78 stones collected per hit. The rock elemental was the total opposite. If it had a melee damage of more than 200%, it collected between 60 to 80 stones per hit as compared to 52 to 70 during the previous test. And along the coast, it also collected twice as much as compared to before, which was only at 18 to 54. Now it tend to collect approximately 34 to 60 stones per hit. There is another more efficient way of collecting stones. So first you actually need a parasail with the platform saddle and you need to build a structure similar to this so that your DoD can rest on this ramp down here. For this test we have a parasail and we have a weight of 20 on the parasail because of its platform saddle and now we'll have a DoD right here with nothing in it. So he actually weighs empty. So just for this test, without the saddle, we're just going to place the DoD right here and move forward to the parasite and we can take a look that the weight actually increased to 156.0. So we will actually move back right here and put in 50 stones into the DoD. So it should come up to about 6.25 if you do the math, but Arc rounded up to 6.3. And when we check the weight of the parasite this time, the weight of the parasite increased to 158.1. So if we actually do the math, we realize that for 0.625 of weight in the DoD, the parasite increased this weight by 2.1. 
So that is just a third increase in the weight of the person, which is actually totally awesome. So what you'll actually need to do next is to get on the person and move it closer to any stones. The DoD will automatically attack on the stones and start gathering for you. One thing you actually need to take note of this is that the DoD is easily glitched out if it's a little bit too close to trees or even stones. So you gotta be really careful on that. And the DoD doesn't do the automatic hit if it is encumbered. However, it will continue to hit if you have a buddy seated on the DoD and riding him. So you can actually farm a whole lot more if you go out doing this as a two-man mission. That's what happens when you get Hulk smash, guys. <laughs> Good job, buddy. This T-Rex came for me and Hulk took care of him. So, for those guys that are actually wondering, hey Diesel, you know, why didn't you add in the Mantis into the equation? Maybe the Mantis fitted with a good hatchet can actually collect more stone. You may be right, guys. However, the Mantis doesn't have the weight reduction of that of the Deodicarus. And also, the Mantis is kind of complicated. I'm like spending a few days on the Mantis trying to get a proper formula and trying to understand the mechanics behind it. But once I get the hang out of it, I am going to release a special episode just for the Mantis. And I know guys, it's pronounced as Dodicarus and not Deodicarus. I've been saying Deodicarus, you know what, because from day one, I have been <laughs> calling this bad Pokeball down here, Deodicarus. I don't know why, I just, you know, it just comes to me naturally. Or oh, maybe it's my accent or something. But today, DOD or the rock elemental when it comes to stone gathering right the dod definitely collected more stone on average as compared to the rock elemental even on level one and also when you put them up uh, with the same uh, melee damage output and the diodicris it's also faster as compared to the rock elemental simply because of its rolling maneuver right <laughs> pokeball down there and just take note guys you know as long as you're not encumbered or 80 percent of the weight of the deodicris you'll be able to roll however once you reach 80 percent or more you will not be able to roll and if you want to understand more about how weight affects the movement speed check out the link in my description below and go to the video and i'll totally explain every single thing about you guys in depth like how we usually do it in diesel place art. DOD or the Rock Elemental. The DOD is definitely a clear winner in this guys, simply because of its new buff of removing 75% of the stone weight when it is in its inventory. Wherever if you have a buddy, you can actually put the DOD on to the ramp of the parasite right there and you can really collect a whole bunch of stone guys so if you like the video remember to smash the subscribe button join the notification squad by pressing the bell beside the subscribe button leave a like and a comment behind guys till next time take care and goodbye love you all 9000 subscribers <laughs> goodbye guys